All right, come on. Today, we are actually going to test out a recipe together. I want to try to make some party wings, and I'm going to test out a combination of some seasonings, and let's see how it's going to work. You see, I got me some party wings. Black pepper, paprika. Now, the seasonings I'm going to be testing out are the Kinder's margarita, which you see that has tequila, agave, and lime, garlic powder, accent, parsley. I'm also going to be combining that other Kinder's with this, which is the caramelized onion butter. I found that I really liked that the other day when I made those smothered turkey legs. Onion powder, olive oil, some pink Himalayan salt. You see that? You see that? I, I, do you see that? Don't you ask me for the damn ingredient list. Now, come on. Now, look, like I said, today we are actually going to be testing out a recipe. So this could turn out disgusting, but we both know it's not because Tobias knows how to cook. I'm adding in about two and a half tablespoons of some olive oil. Then I'm going to go in with some crushed um, black peppercorn right across the top. How y'all babies doing today? Just so y'all know, for those of you that were asking, I am in the process of getting ready to start a cabaret called, like I was saying, the cabaret is, that I'm doing is called the Disco Fever, and it's at Signature Theater in Arlington, Virginia. For those of you that want to see me live on stage, the tickets, everything, info is all in my bio, honey. So come on out if y'all want to see me sing a couple songs, honey. I'm going to go in with some pink Himalayan salt, just right across the top here, just like that. Then I'm going to go in with my onion powder. I like to be heavy handed with onion powder and garlic powder when it comes to wings like these. I'm actually, I'm going to be baking these just so y'all know I'm not frying these. I want to bake these and see how I like them because I actually prefer baked chicken over fried chicken. I have to really be in the mood to have uh, fried chicken, to be quite honest. Um, then I'm going to go in with some garlic powder. Right across the top, just like that. All right. Y'all know, like I said, black folk, baby, we add paprika to every damn thing. It don't give a bit of flavor, but it does add some damn good coloring. Now, unless you're using smoked paprika. Now, smoked paprika will definitely give you a little bit of flavor, but we're not using that. Okay? Then I'm going to go in, of course, the accent. And for everybody that keeps asking me what is accent, it's just a flavor enhancer, you guys. It's MSG. If you don't like MSG, don't use it. But as I've said before, if you are a person that is out here in the world eating Doritos and that type of stuff, you're eating MSG. You just don't realize that you are, my love. Okay? So I go with MSG. It literally just brings out the flavor in your meats. Okay? Now I'm going to go in with some parsley, just like this. And now I'm going to go in with the caramelized onion butter. This is from Kinder's. I'm going to go in with this right across the top. I'm probably adding in about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of this. I don't want to go too heavy handed with this because what I really want to shine through is this margarita one, the Kinder's margarita flavor. So this one I'm going to be a little bit heavy handier with. And the sodium in this is, is 130 milligrams. So it's actually not that that high. So I can be a little bit more heavy handed with this. I'm just going to go right across the top. My hands have been washed, of course. And now I'm going to go in and give these a good old mix around, just like so. And I'm actually going to let these marinate for probably about, I'm going to say about two hours, to be honest. I really want to allow this to kind of soak through. And also these wings are still somewhat partially frozen. So it's going to release a lot of liquid, which is also the other reason why I was a little bit heavier handed with the seasoning because a lot of it's going to kind of drip off. But as you can see, baby, these wings right here are seasoned. Okay, that's exactly what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on this and I'm going to allow these, like I said, to marinate for about two or three hours. And then I'll come back. We're going to pop them in the oven at 350 degrees. What temperature did I say? 350 degrees. One, two, three, four, five. For all the people that just commented down in the comments section, I said 350 degrees. Okay. Now, as far as how long I'm going to bake them, I will let you know how long I'm going to bake them once they're done. But once again, I'm going to put them in the oven at what? Say it with me. 350 degrees. Put these in the fridge. Let them marinate. You can let them marinate overnight if you would like, but I'm going to let them marinate for about two to three hours. I'll see y'all baby soon. All right, y'all, I've transferred these over to a baking dish. I'm now going to cover these up with aluminum foil, pop these in the oven at 350 degrees, and I will let y'all know how long I allow these to bake once I take them out of the oven. Eventually, we will be uncovering them and put them back in, but I'll let you know that step when we get to that. All right, y'all, so these have been baking in the oven, like I said, at 350. We are at the one hour mark. Now, these are actually already looking exactly how I want them to look, so I'm gonna transfer them from this over to a wire rack so that I can get the skin kind of crispy. I kind of want them kind of roasted. 
So give me a second to transfer these all over. I'm gonna go in and top these with just a little bit more paprika right across the top of all of them. Just because I just want a little bit more color on them before they come out of the oven. And I'm also going to go in with just a little bit more of that Kinder's Margarita seasoning right on the top. A very, very light dusting though. Don't do too much of that. So like I said, just a little light dusting right across the top of them. Not too much. I just want to make sure that I get the seasoning really on there. And I'm also going to go in with just a little bit of parsley on the top of these as well. There we go. And now let me get the parsley. And I'm going to increase the temperature in the oven up to 400 and then I will let you guys know exactly how long I kept them in there. But these are looking absolutely beautiful. All right, popping them back in the oven, 400. And just like that, these wings are all done. And honestly, they look absolutely delicious. Got some nice crisp to them. Coloring is looking just the way I want them to. They're still nice and supple, not dried out. So I think it is high time that we go in for a taste test, shall we? I mean, first of all, just look. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the damn seasoning. Chaba. All right, y'all. Let's go in for a taste test, shall we? Mm. Make these wings. Follow my instructions. Honestly, I would say you could probably even go a little bit more heavier with the margarita flavoring. It could come through just a little bit more. They're absolutely delicious, but if you really want that limey taste, either put more seasoning or when they're all done, squeeze some fresh lime juice on top of the wings and then give a light dusting. Bitch. All right, y'all. I'm about to go eat, so y'all have yourselves a good night, and do yourself a favor. Make them. Bye.